Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Mohsen Raj. I'm a DM cardiology student at Ames New Delhi. Now back in 2017, I had All India Rank 16 in Ames PG exam and All India Rank 11 in PGI Chandigarh exam. I did my MD from Ames and then now I'm a DM student at Ames. In this video, I'll try to answer uh, some of the questions that would be in your mind at this point of time you're done with neat pg now some questions like these would 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 be like revolving in your mind number one can i crack inict okay or is it worth to to prepare for inict or work for it if you already have a good rank in neat pg second question that if yes then what all should i read in the coming month third what are the high yield areas Fourth, what should be my exam strategy? How many questions should I attempt? How many questions should I get correct in order to get a good top 20 or top 30 rank? And last but not the least, what should be my paper attempting strategy, right? I'll try to cover all these questions in, in this video so that you're clear in your mind what are you preparing for, right? Number one, the question number one, that can I crack INICT? Is it worth it? Now, let me tell you, you know, the what is the point when people miss Ames New Delhi? It is it is the moment when you have a good rank in NEET PG and you decide not to read about INICT, not to appear in it, or just don't care about it. Because if you already have a good rank in NEET PG or an average rank in NEET PG, there's a quite good chance that you can improve your rank. And once you reach Ames, I guarantee you will not regret your decision of working for this one month. Now see, you can waste your you can waste this one month. You can just enjoy. You can move. You can uh, go on vacations and so forth. But if you continue to read, if you continue to work and practice in this one month, you will make it to Ames, and then trust me, things will never be the same. Once you enter Ames, then you will realize that what what's the worth of this place and how much what's the impact of the name Ames on, on your future throughout your career right so work for it and can i do it of course you can do it people who come to aims are students from different peripheral medical colleges not all of them are from are from have done their mbbs from aims you check the previous rank list out of top 10 maybe one or two are from aims the rest of them are from peripheral medical colleges you know ordinary medical colleges i was from from government medical college and i finally made it to aims so it's possible quite possible it was possible for me it was possible it's therefore possible for you as well. Number second. Now, if you want to prepare for INICT, what all should you read in this one month? Okay. Now, you've done NEET PG. You've read your 19 subjects quite well. Now, what I suggest is you read a paper of INICT, a paper of AIMS PG every day. One paper every day. That, that, that means 200 AIMS questions every day, which means 200 important topics every day. So, which means you can read 10-year papers, that's about 20, uh, 20 because it happens twice a year. So, you, you can revise 20 AIMS papers in the next 20 days. One paper a day, 200 questions, 200 concepts a day. So, that will markedly and dramatically improve your rank, I guarantee you. They quiz exam mein 200 questions, hote hai. 100 questions you will be able to answer from PYQs. Now, that doesn't mean that they will direct repeats. Honge. But I tell you, they will be repeats from the same topics. 20, 30 questions may even be direct repeats from the previous 10-year questions. But 100 questions will definitely be from similar areas. Why? Because faculty is the same. Hai. Question paper set karne wale same. Hai. Aap review the same. You review the past 10 years ke papers. There's a trend. You know, there's a, there's a, there are hot spots. Is topic se question aana hai. Okay, checkpoint inhibitors or a particular uh, like a topic from microbiology. Is se question aana hai. Okay, the bone marrow biopsy needles. Question aana hai. Somebody with severe asthma. Question aana hai. Somebody with a stroke. Question aana hai. ECG pe question aana hai. They are known. They are known to everyone. Right? Acid base. Electrolyte disturbances. Question aana hai. Dengue fever and all. Question aana hai. So you know the pattern already. That means this exam is very predictable. I, I tell you, it is easier to predict an AIMS question paper than an EAT PG question paper because there is something that can happen. But AIMS question paper, mein, you can predict questions. You can predict the topics at least because there is a trend. Okay? 
So, and by the way, I've made pre videos previously about INICD, what should be your strategy, what should be your mindset in preparing for such an exam, right? Okay. So your previous year questions are very important. Do 20 question papers, one paper each day in the next 20 days. Okay. Now, what else do you read? Now, you also know that first prof, second prof subjects are very important for AIMS exam. Why? Because the exam paper setters, they even ask medicine questions from clinical from 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 the second year subjects what i mean is that aapke question paper mein question dala hoga for example pediatrics ki faculty ne okay it might be a question about hodgkin's lymphoma but wo puchega ek translocation ke bare mein jo aapne path mein bhi padha hoga okay is is paper mein a medicine faculty will ask question about maybe b12 deficiency but saath mein image hogi of a hypersegmented neutrophil which you would have read in second year MBBS in pathology. What I mean is that ki even if a clinician aims ke questions poochega from medicine, from general surgery or from pediatrics, you can answer those questions from second year subjects. Why? Because the faculty wants you to correlate basic subjects to clinical subjects. Right? They, because that's been the trend of this, uh, of this exam in general. Right? So previous year questions, the basic science subjects are very important. Wo revise ki chahi. Ab kisse revise karenge? Whatever source you have read previously. I don't want you to watch a video and see that somebody is uh, telling you ki ab first aid padlo, USMLE first aid padlo, usse aapke second prof, first prof ke subjects sub complete ho jayenge in, in a small bulk. But if you haven't read it previously, it will take you time to decode that book. Wo book easy hai. But for someone who already knows that subject, Aapne pehle microbiology kahi se padi ho, idea hai already aapko microbiology ka, then you can easily revise from it. Okay, and if you read it previously, during your preparation, now it will be a lot easier to revise that book in a matter of five days. You can finish that book in three, four, five days. But agar aapne pehle nahi padi ho book, please don't use it right now. Aap usi book se revise karoge jisse aapne pada ho. आपने अपने कंसोलिडेटेड नोट्स बनाए हैं तो उससे पढ़ लो आपके पास कुछ रैपिड रिवीजन मटेरियल हो तो उससे पढ़ लो बट व्हाट आई मीन इज दैट जो आपके पास कंसाइज मटेरियल है ऑलरेडी पढ़ा हुआ है उसी को रिवाइज करना है प्लस प्रीवियस क्वेश्चंस करने नाउ डू यू रीड सब्जेक्ट्स बिग सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक मेडिसिन अनलाइकली उतना टाइम नहीं है आपके पास मेडिसिन रिव्यू बुक और आपके मेडिसिन के नोट्स भी दे विल बी बल्कि Unko revise karna zaruri nahi hai. Rather, you will focus on the previous year questions from AIMS or at the max PGI Chandigarh from medicine. You will practice questions from AIMS and PGI on surgery, on obstetrics, gynecology. Okay? Right. Then, third point is what should be your paper strategy? How many questions should you attempt in that paper? Now, let me tell you it's about it's 200 questions. Usme, there will be maybe 20 questions which are very difficult. Difficult for even the person who gets all India rank 1. अगर उसके उसमें से 10 क्वेश्चंस ठीक आ रहे ना, he won't be sure about it, वो हो जाते हैं ठीक, okay? But the point I want to make is that वो 20 क्वेश्चन जो काफी डिफिकल्ट होते हैं, they're difficult for everyone, they're difficult for topper, they're difficult for you, they're difficult even for the faculty of that subject, right? So those questions don't decide the rank, वो लास्ट में, जो बचे क्वेश्चंस हैं, उनमें से 100 क्वेश्चंस will be either easy or they'll be like moderate difficulty questions, उनको तो आप � around 80 questions or maybe 60 questions jo moderate to difficult honge jo correlation wale honge jo two step questions honge for example they'll describe a clinical situation jo aapko decode karna padega that this particular patient is having this clinical problem wo define kar lenge that he is not shaving his right side of face he is not bathing the right side of his body you understand he has hemi neglect and then they will ask you where is the lesion you will have to correlate where is the lesion in the stroke patient who has hemi neglect non dominant prior to lobe whatever okay so there will be two step questions which means aapko Thoda sa dhyan deke, you can answer those questions and there will be a significant number of questions on emergencies and there will be a significant number of questions on clinical skills. Hai na? Bone marrow needle dikha diya, lumbar puncture needle dikha diya or for that matter, koi clinical sign dikha diya. So all those questions you know from the PYQs. The point I want to make is that they are not hard. Aap dhyan se karoge, aapne PYQs achche se kye honge, aapne PYQ ke related areas thik se padhe honge in 20-30 days mein, you will be able to answer those questions. What I mean is that you should attempt more than 180 questions. 
बिकॉज अगर आप पहले ही कम अटैम्प्ट करोगे इट्स अनलाइकली कि आपके 150 से ज़्यादा करेक्ट होंगे एंड रफली इफ़ यू गेट 150 और 155 और 160 करेक्ट ऑप्शन यूल बी इन टॉप ट्वेंटी ओके विच मीन्स यू स्टिल हैव अव हैव लाइक दैट सेफ्टी मार्जिन क्या फोर्टी क्वेश्चन गलत भी कर सकते हो या मे बी छोड़ भी सकते हो दस दस क्वेश्चन बट इन जनरल जो स्ट्रैटेजी टॉपर्स रखते हैं इट विल बी कि दे अटैम्प्ट मोर देन वन नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन दे ट्राई टू अटैम्प्ट मोर देन वन नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन बट इट डजन मीन कि अगर एक किसी क्वेश्चन का आपको कोई भी बिल्कुल भी आइडिया नहीं हो ना क्वेश्चन समझ आ रहे हो ना उसके ऑप्शन समझ आ रहे हो ऑब्वियसली डोंट अटैम्प्ट दैट ओके बट ऑप्शन रूल आउट करके If you are confused between two, just hit and run. You have fifty percent probability of getting it right. Go करके you have to attempt one ninety questions or at least one eighty questions. Okay, because that's what most of the toppers do. ठीक है. So that's about the number of questions. Then and and how many do you need to get correct? Probably one fifty to one sixty correct होने पे ही आपकी अच्छी rank आती है. Okay. Then third. What should be a paper attempting strategy? How should you do it? Are they look um, some some of you message me that should I do it in two goes? Like, पहले मैं I'll finish in thirty, I'll finish in ninety minutes. Then I'll give more time to the second revision. यार ऐसा कुछ नहीं है. Whatever suits you. But what I suggest is कि ऐसा कुछ नहीं कि question आपके सामने आपको answer नहीं आ रहा है कि वो आगे चल के आप बाद में उसके पांच मिनट आप उसमें सोच के answer दे पाओगे. No. जो question सामने हैं. Do your best. Try to answer that question in that one minute and mark that on a question right there, there. Okay. Agla question, kafi easy hai. Mark it right there and then click next. Agla question, thoda sa aur difficult hai. You may spend maybe one minute, maybe one and a half minute, but solve it there. Do not keep it ki yar main baad mein karunga. Agar review questions rakhni hai na that you want to look at the end, they should not be more than five. Because if you keep thirty questions, fifty questions for review. It doesn't make sense. तो review के लिए maximum फाइव और maximum टेन questions रख लो बाकी आपके पहले ही जब आप paper करो उसी में mark करना है और completely like save इन next, save इन next, not review. Okay, so that was my uh, the purpose of this video. So that now you are clear that you have to read previous टेन year question papers, you have to read previous ट्वेंटी aims papers, you have to memorize those questions and answers, you have to read those topics thoroughly, you have to revise the second prop, first prop, especially the second prop subjects. You don't want to read a new material, right? And you want to attempt more than one eighty questions in that paper, and you target to get one fifty to one sixty correct options, right? and you can choose the exam strategy a b say read in 3 hour blocks focus for 3 continuous hours because exam aapka 3 ghante ka hona hai i don't want you to be like a person ke 1 ghante baad aap thak gaye you want to take a nap after one hour that's not possible in an exam so b say 3 ghante ki uh, like continuous uh, padhai uh, just make a habit of that okay so i hope this uh, video helps you thank you